What's going on guys? Eric here and in today's video I'll show you how to customize your PC MIDI tower to go from ordinary like this to super cool like this using Vinyl Wrap. At the end of the video I'll talk about how much it costs to do a project like this, about how long it takes to do, and how much you might be able to charge if you wanted to offer this customization service to others who want to customize their PC. But before we get started guys, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification button so you get notices whenever I post new content to the channel. I've got more projects like this in the works and I'd love to share them with you. Before we get started on the project, let's go over some of the tools and supplies and equipment that you'll need to complete this particular project. So starting from the left, we have a heat gun here and um, that'll be your heat source to help soften the vinyl and to help it stretch. Also to help you seal down the vinyl well and uh, find any air bubbles that you may have missed in the application process of the vinyl. Here I just have a, a, a tool belt kit to hold some other items on here. You can see I've got a tape measure, something, a mark, uh, grease pencil here for marking things. This is a back slitter knife uh, for cutting between the vinyl and um, the backing paper itself. Uh, you can also cut things, just cut the vinyl to shape with that. Um, I have a squeegee. This is just a 3M gold with a buffer on it uh, by Monkey Strips. This is a wrap glove which I use often to help smooth down the vinyl. Um, it helps your fingers slide over the vinyl uh, more easily and smoothly. These are the two vinyl colors I'll be using. These are both uh, Vivid Vinyls in their new Ultra Gloss um, series uh, released late 2020. This is Ultra Gloss uh, Racing Red and Ultra Gloss Nardo Gray. Um, and then you'll need um, some utility knives. I have two here. Uh, one's in a vivid body and one's in an Ulfa body. And right now both are using 30 degree snap off blades by I believe NT Cutter. Uh, and by the way guys, all the stuff that I have here I'll have links to in the description as well. And then these three colored um, sticks are basically micro squeegees. Uh, they're just a different form of this squeegee but they have finer, uh, sharper edges and different shapes. Um, and the different colors are the hardness of it, the blue being the softest with the red in between and the black being the hardest. So those are some basic um, things that you'll need. Other things that you'll want to have is uh, for cleaning the surface of the uh, laptop or excuse me of the PC will be um, just a microfiber cloth and an alcohol water mix is what I use to clean it off just to get rid of any oils, residues, dirt, etc, etc um, on, on the surface that I'll be applying the vinyl to. And so with that, let's get started on the how-to portion. To begin with, make sure that the face of your PC is fully cleaned. And once you have that done, have a piece cut up big enough to cover at least the one half, in this case, of the PC face that you're going to be wrapping. You see that I placed the piece, the uh, vinyl on the face of the PC. I've uh, pulled out the backing paper, applied it, and I added a little bit of heat to help smooth everything down and get it settled onto the face. Next, I'm taking my utility knife and I'm pressing, I'm using the side of the blade against the outer side edge of the face of the PC to trim off the excess vinyl on the side. Uh, be careful when doing this. Again, use the side of the blade, the flat part, not the sharp edge, uh, and run it along the side of the um, PC face itself. In the center there, I have this kind of a plastic bar that protrudes right down the middle point there. And so I'm just using my micro squeegees to help define the lines of where that um, center line or plastic line piece is in there. And then I'm once I've defined that line, I'm using my utility knife to very, very carefully score the um, score within that line that I traced out with my micro squeegee. It also goes up and around the, the triangle part there on the left of the screen, which is the top of the computer, the bezel surrounding the power button. There's a little bit of excess on the top there. You saw me just trim off a piece of that, uh, just past center. And then on the bottom part, there's a little small piece there that I had to do as well. Once I've got that all said and done, you can see I'm adding a little bit of heat to make the vinyl a little bit softer and uh, more compliant to conform around uh, protrusions, shapes, edges, etc., etc. And what I'm doing there is I'm using a little bit of heat, my micro squeegee to kind of define the edges and lines of the uh, microphone and headphone jacks and then soon to be the USB ports and micro USB um, micro and USB-C ports there. This is actually the most time consuming uh, part of this particular project, cutting out all the small little pieces um, and ports and, uh, and in this case the Acer badge later on. You saw how fast that it was just to lay down the one half of the vinyl on that piece and trim off the edges but then right now you can see that I've significantly slowed down if you will 
um, and taking my time to cut and trim these out. Do take your time and be careful in doing this because you don't want to damage any electronic pieces in here. Um, use heat to help you define the edges of each of those ports um, and then use the side of your blade against the side of the inner edges of the either microphone jack or the USB port and just be very careful. Use just a little bit of the tip of the blade sticking out. Make sure your blade is um, super sharp. If you need to snap off a piece of um, since they're snap off blades, snap off a new piece every time you cut a port. That way you know that it is as sharp as possible. Again, take your time. You can see I'm taking my time here doing these. It's it's kind of slow going. Um, and of course, the more you have, the more ports you have, uh, the longer it'll probably take you to do this. All in all, this project took me, uh, and I'll talk about it later in the video, about 30 minutes total. And probably two thirds of that time was just trimming out all these little ports um, and then later on the Acer badge uh, um, on the other half of the uh, on the other half of the PC. So I'm almost done there as far as the USB ports uh, and um, the SD card reader. I think that's what I'm cutting out right now. Yep, that's the SD card reader that I'm cutting out right now. Uh, again, I'm taking my time to make sure that I have nice clean edges. There's no um, jaggedy edges there. There's no shards or little stringies worth left of. Um, uh, vinyl there. What I'm traced out there next is the port, uh, the door, if you will, opening for the uh, DVD player uh, that I have um, on this PC. Um, and so you can see I just trimmed that out. And then I'm going to just finish uh, as I go over everything again. I'm just kind of making sure I got everything trimmed out nicely. Um, on the DVD player door there, you can see I'm kind of just trimming off some excess. Uh, vinyl along the edges that I think I could get a little bit better and when I'm doing that I'm no kidding just shaving off hairs like very thin very very thin pieces of vinyl very you know basically the size or the depth or thickness of hairs so that side is done for all intents and purposes and then I'm basically going to do the same on the next side I'm applying my vinyl smoothing it out peeled off the plastic protective cap on this particular vinyl, uh, which has it, not all vinyls have it, adding a little heat to help everything settle down and smooth out. I'm now using my micro squeegee to trace out the line in the center and then around the power button bezel uh, on the side at the top there. The next thing I'm probably gonna do, or next thing I'm gonna do is trim off the excess on the outer edges of the PC face. And again, just running the side of my blade against the side outer edge of the PC face. Um, take your time, be careful, don't gouge your PC. I mean, if it's your PC, you might not care too much about it. If you're doing this for somebody as a friend, uh, doing this for a friend, or if you're doing this for a customer, you definitely want to take your time and be careful doing that. Um, I just use my micro squeegee one more time to help make sure I define and trace out that line really, really well. The better you trace out your lines and define where you're going to cut, the, the easier it will be for you to cut and the more accurate your cut will be. If you're, if you don't trace lines out that you need to cut very well or very, um, you know, your blade cannot follow it easily and you'll be using more freehand motion than you will the actual, like a guided straight line. So I've got that cut and you see that I peeled off the excess there. I'm just going over the edges a little bit to kind of clean everything up around the power button bezel. Um, and I'm kind of looking around to make sure as well that I've got, there's no other um, edges or pick edges that could be shaved off. Next is the, the next is the most time consuming piece here along with the ports that I just did on the other side. And this is going to be tracing out the Acer symbol. This one was a little bit tough. Uh, it's kind of small, lots and lots of curves. So I had to take a lot of time doing this, uh, adding heat at points, um, using my micro squeegee to definitely help define and trace out those lines. As you can see, um, I'm carving, I'm tracing out a little bit and then I'm cutting out a little bit, tracing out a little bit, cutting out a little bit. Um, I'll throw in some heat in there to help soften the vinyl and then press it in so I can see the lines a little bit better. Uh, in order to trim this out carefully uh, and accurately um, because you don't want to spend all this time carving out most of the, um, the lettering and then you mess up and then uh, you mess up bad enough that you down now you now have to start over again uh, and then you've just wasted that time and then there's a little bit of material that you're using for this so definitely take your time um, I, as you can see here what I'm doing is again I'm tracing a little bit with my micro squidgy and then cutting a little bit tracing a little bit and then cutting and I'm making sure 
I'm tracing a lot because as I trace, I could trace the whole thing and start trimming out, but over over that time, it starts to kind of pop up a little bit because it's not really set in there very well. I'm not trying to do an embossing here, um, so I'm not pressing it that hard, but I am pressing it in good enough so that I can cut the excess out of the um, uh, of the badging there. So just continuing on to do that, um, and then we'll be almost done here. And I fast forwarded just a little bit and you can see that I finished cutting out the Acer badge there. Once you're all done, add a little bit of heat to seal down your edges and make sure that you can find any trapped air bubbles um, under the vinyl. And when you're all done, this project is complete. Okay, so now that I've shown you how to customize the face of your PC tower using um, the vinyl wrap, let's talk about how much a project like this might cost you to do. So you could buy each of the colors uh, in a one foot by 54 inch roll from Amazon, and I'll put links in the description below, for $12 a roll. Um, free shipping if you have Amazon Prime, so you don't have to worry about any additional costs for shipping. If I did my math correctly, that's uh, the amount of square footage or square inches that you get uh, per dollar equals 54 square inches per dollar. Now each side or each half of the face of the PC tower I used a 13 inch by 4 inch strip of each color, which if I did my math correctly is a 52 square inch amount. So at $1 per 54 square inches, um, I used up uh, 52 square inches per color. We're talking a material cost of right around $2 each uh, of the roll that you buy, of each roll that you buy. So for $2 of material cost, that gives you a good starting point on how much it might cost you to do aside from your time. So let's talk about time. Uh, in the video, I did accelerate it, um, and you saw that it was pretty easy to do, but all in all, it actually did take me about 30 minutes, a little bit more than 30 minutes to do this. Why that much amount of time? Well, as you saw in the video, it was very easy to lay the flat part down and then carve around or tr uh, trim off the excess in the sides. Where it got more of the time consuming was carving out or cutting out each of the small ports for the microphone jack, the headphone jack, the USB plugs, and then in particular, cutting out the, um, the Acer uh, emblem in the front. You, I could have carved it out um, just in one on the outer edge and pulled the whole Acer off, but I decided to leave the center part of the A uh, and the little center part of the E in there, which added a little bit more time. Those are very small, very fine uh, details that you have to take your time to do so that it comes out looking nicely. So that, uh, that took me about in total about 30 minutes to do, a little bit more than 30 minutes to do the whole thing. So we're looking at about 30 to 35 minutes to do um, this particular project and a material cost of roughly $2. So if you wanted to sell this particular service, uh, maybe as a business or maybe a friend of yours asked to sell your PC, lap, your PC uh, or your laptop and said, hey, that's pretty cool. Can you do something like that for me? I'll pay you for it you'll then have to decide how much you want to charge to do something like that. But again, the amount of time you have or that you can estimate in doing it, plus the uh, material cost of $2 gives you a good starting point. So you might be able to charge, if it's just your buddy, you might just give him the friend discount and say, hey, buck, you know, pay for my materials and I'll do it for free. Or, you know, um, I'll do it for 30 bucks or 20 bucks, whatever, right? Um, if you're going to do this as, offered as a service to others, say for instance as a business, um, you may want to consider other factors like overhead, utilities, other things like that. And so you may charge a little bit more. Again, it will depend on your particular market, what it would allow, as well as what you and the customer might negotiate. So you might charge the customer, I don't know, 20, 30, 40, or 50 dollars, depending on what it is you're going to be doing. This one was fairly easy, but it did get a little bit complicated in the fact that there were a lot of small little things I had to trim out, which took up about 80% of the actual time of um, applying the vinyl itself. So those are things that you'll have to consider if you're going to offer this as a service in a business type of fashion to others to make some money on the side or as your business. So hopefully that gives you a good idea of how what it would take to do this particular project and how much it might cost you both in material costs and in time. So guys, I hope you found this video to be helpful, informative, and instructive, and maybe entertaining as well. 
Uh, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you get notices for any new projects or all the new projects that I'm going to be posting here, hopefully in the very near future, because uh, I'd love to share those with you. Thanks for all your support and have a great day.